What is an example of mindfulness? Well, you're going to be surprised to find out that you actually have more mindful experiences than you may realize, that you may dip in and out of it all day long. It's just a matter of being aware of it. That's what we'll dive into here. Mindfulness isn't some etheric state you get into after years and years of meditation. It is something that is a very natural state that you do access daily at, in some way, but that you can build your ability to access whenever you want to. Uh, and, and it leads to a much healthier life. Simply put, mindfulness is your ability to focus on the present. Your awareness is just here in this moment. It's not about, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, I've, oh, what am I going to do when this... It's not being lost in the monkey mind or the self-talk of the head. It's about being present with what's going on here. If thoughts come up, you just notice them. You don't get engaged them in them. It's not about being, you know, silent-minded and whatever. It's just, oh, a thought. And then you just become more aware of what's happening right now in this moment. It's the simple art of focus. Now, interesting is, thing is, if you worry, you're focusing. You're using the same skill, except you're worrying about something that you should have done in the past or that you've got to do in the future, instead of focusing on the present, on what's happening right now. So where are times when we are, are mindful? Uh, it could be when you are seeing a beautiful sunrise or sunset, something that just, you know, get your attention and you're solely focused on that. It could be when you are, uh, for example, if you go on a vacation and that first moment when you step out on the beach in the warm sun and you feel that, you're usually pretty darn present there. When you get into a warm bath, that's that first few moments, you just soak in the feelings of it. That's mindfulness. That's being fully present. You're not thinking about all other things that are there. You're very aware of what's happening in that moment. It can also happen when you're fully engaged in a sport. Runners talk about being in a runner's high where they just get into a rhythm and it just, it just flows with them. Uh, the, um, if, if you're rowing, there's that, you know, you get into that rhythm and of that. And usually it, it's, it brings you right into that moment and you're not thinking about different things. For me, dancing is a mindfulness exercise, which people have difficulty understanding if it's a crazy fast salsa or, or, or swing dance. But I have to be so present with my partner and the music because I'm choreographing in that moment. I've got to read my partner, create the move, all of that. I have no time for any thoughts. So there's more days than I can imagine when I've had a dance class or go, you know, was going, going out dancing and I've been really tired and weighed down by what's happening. But within a moment of being there, that's all gone because I have to be so totally focused on my partner. And I come back refreshed and energized because I've cleared all of that away. So it's about that sense of being present. Now, there's some more extreme cases that, that you can think about. Um, I think about, for example, when I first, the first time I went skydiving. <laughs> Trust me, I had fear of heights. So to, for me to, you know, get to the door, reach out to the wing and go way out there on the wing, I was not thinking about what I had to do the next day. I was pretty darn focused on that moment. Now, 
the terror of that, that first five seconds, I don't know that anyone remembers the first five seconds of the first jump of when to let go. I, I'm sure I just tumbled and whatever until the, sh the chute caught and pulled me. But once that canopy was open, the awe that I had of looking out on that, um, just looking out there, it was like I was above the birds. I could, it was so peaceful. Uh, that's one of the most incredible uh, mindfulness, spiritual experiences I, I can uh, remember. It was so amazing, even though it was years and years and years ago. Now a lot of people are now into zip lining and such. When you're in that moment, you're not thinking about all the other things that you've got to do or, and such. You're very present, very mindful. Think about also if you're learning something for that the first time, okay? Uh, you're generally very present because it's, it's like things can shift very easily. Think back to when you first learned how to drive. <laughs> the, uh, you know, it's, <clears throat> it seemed like you get in the car and it's barely moving and it feels like you're going 50 miles an hour and you're still in the single digits. It's, it's just, that that sense uh, and you're so incredibly focused it's you, you know it's like you move the steering wheel a little bit and it feels like you pulled a 360 that 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 incredible degree of of presence that you have that's this, that's mindfulness now one of the the keys to this is to get out of that monkey mind where you run around in loops worrying about what happened or upset about something that that's that happened in the past that's what keeps you away from mindfulness and is you know stuff can happen but it's a key the the key to mindfulness is just to notice and go oh okay that's interesting and uh and then you just keep noticing instead of getting caught up in it. So for example, if someone, uh, let's say someone triggers you, it's that says they say something that sets you off, that just uh, <clears throat> typically it would, and you'd get upset and whatever. If you had practiced mindfulness, and if you could, you could get to that point where they would say something and you'd go, hmm, interesting and think about it if you have done some personal work personal growth work you may notice you've been in situations where someone says something that used to trigger you it doesn't anymore and you just go hmm that's interesting and i, I know that used to be some uh, something that upset me but i'm not you just notice it that's bringing mindfulness into life and as you do that, you can be much more aware of what's happening instead of getting caught up in the emotions of the, of the past or the future, the worries and the anxieties, uh, or beating yourself up or second guessing. It's about being in that moment and, uh, and fully being aware of it. So I'm sure that, you know, with this, you can come up with, you can identify different examples of things that might have happened when you were mindful for example when we're driving now you know when we first started learning we were incredibly mindful now we hardly um, it seems pay attention to it because we're listening to the radio we're talking to someone next to us or on the phone where uh, you know who's driving the car but then let's say suddenly a driver cuts you off all of a sudden poof, your attention is focused on the road, on the driver, on everyone around you. You have become immediately mindful of those situations. Okay, it's about being present in that moment. Before all the information went in and parts of your brain filtered it if it was important. But if it was routine, you were able to pay attention to other things. You weren't as mindful to the road. And, and what you're doing. So think about things like that. And it's everyday things. It can be playing with your kid when you're playing with them and, and especially little kids, the joy and, and, and being in that moment and, and feeling their joy. Kids are so present, so mindful. It's like 
when you're falling in love or when you you know just look at your partner and feel the, that love that that is being fully present fully mindful in the moment and these are the things that are available all through our day building a practice of it allows you to live more fully more vibrantly now if you would like to start exploring uh, mindfulness and how much of a difference it can make for you something i've done since the pandemic is make my full mindfulness 101 program available for free to everyone who needs it i just know that there's so much demand so much need for that now and there will be for time to come because of all the caca of this time and so if you want to get access to it all you have to do is go to say no to stress.com and you can access the full uh, mindfulness 101 program join me there and i'll see you on the next video bye, -bye.